Hi, I'm Margot Tillman, and I'm the chairman of the Small Works Exhibition and Raffle, which is a fundraiser for the Centerville Arts Council, Queen Anne County Arts Council. We have uh, about 80 words of art here this, that you'll be seeing. Uh, they're all very small, seven inches by nine. So, Margot, tell me a little bit about the type of artwork and the specifications and requirements for turning, entering something into the show. Well, each year, and this is the third year of the show, we ask artists to donate small works of art, seven inches by nine or smaller, um, to the Arts Council for a fundraiser and raffle that we have. Um, the artists donate their work, and they are some of our uh, familiar local artists, but also we have works from people from all over the country. So it makes it a nice variety of work, some fresh and new, and some of the, your favorite people. And uh, the way the raffle works is this. We mount the 80 works of art here in the Center for the Arts, and then you may buy uh, raffle tickets. Five dollars each, seven for thirty dollars, and come to the show um, and you'll see the artwork. Choose the thing you particularly like and put the ticket in the box that matches the artwork that you have chosen. Um, at the end of the run of the show, which will be on February 18th, we'll have a grand drawing. And uh, Marcy Dunn Ramsey will be here to do the honors and each uh, box associated with a work of art uh, will be um, emptied and one ticket will be drawn and that person will win that particular work of art. The great thing about this is everybody chooses what they want and every piece of artwork goes home with someone who loves it. And so it's, a, it's just a really fun evening. People have a lot of fun that night and, um, and all the artwork has a new home. So it Sounds like a lot of fun. It is. It looks like you have some amazing pieces from a variety of in a variety of types of medium. Um, can you tell me a little bit about some of the individual pieces that you have? Well, let's start uh, with this uh, small handbag that um, uh, um, Hallie Rugg has done, and uh, I'll take it. It's on the wall with Velcro, so I'll take it off. It's a it's a beautiful piece. This is the third time she's offered us one of her. Um, needlework bags that she does, and it's always one of the most popular pieces in the show. It's amazing. It's really a beautiful piece and very worth seeing up close as well. Another example is this uh, small red clay pot. Now this comes from Dana Goforth, and she lives in Monterey, California. Uh, so we're, and wow. she has given us something each year too. So. Uh, Members of the committee and people who are part of the Arts Council here uh, ask friends who are far flung to enter things, and this is one of them. This is a photograph by David Chance. And David grew up here in Centerville, but now he is a professional photographer on the Western Shore. And he heard about the show just this year. He's new. He hasn't been in our last two shows, and he submitted two nice small photographs um, for the show this year, and um, he was pleased to do it, and we're really excited to have his work. It's very nicely done and beautifully framed. Uh, the third piece is by Lee Brooks. A lot of you in town know Lee Brooks, but you may not know that she's uh, becoming quite a talented uh, mosaic person, mosaic artist, and uh, this little crab uh, is guaranteed to be one of the popular items in the show. It's really great. Let me mention uh, this necklace I'm wearing. This is by Eileen Johnson, and it's a bronze medallion and then pale pink freshwater pearls, and uh, it has um, a heron on it, and it's quite pretty. Beautiful. So, Is that something she made, that hanger? She did. Wow. Mm -hmm. Is that a mold process, or...? 
Uh, it's yeah. it is it's a there's a particular kind of clay bron and you can have it in bronze and copper. We have some copper pieces by Janice Colvin also. They're very nice. nice. And I'm not familiar with the process, but that's somebody could learn about that. Yes. Yeah. In fact, we have a class in that. Janice Colvin's going to be teaching a class while this show is up. We have a bunch of uh, a group of classes, small workshops they're called, and um, they each last about two hours. Janice will be teaching um, how to do this uh, uh, bronze clay pendant, and, or hers will be copper. And uh, we have a uh, microbrew class, small micro. Oh, I've been interested <laughs> in that. So. <laughs> It's going to be a, a gentleman who knows the history of beer, plus we'll have a tasting. I'll have to attend. So, and then we have Dylan Dixon coming to tell us all about how Crumpton works. The Crumpton auction is something we all enjoy, but some of us don't have the nerve to bid because <laughs> we're not familiar. Yeah. Or uh, we might like to know how to offer things at his auction. So he's going to come and spend an hour and a half with us one evening. That would be great. And Hallie who did the needlepoint bag, is going to be offering a class in Bargello uh, for advanced needleworkers. So we have a number of things. How can people find out more about those classes or sign up? Well, we, the website for the Arts Council is a quick way to do it. Um, also, um, uh, we sent out our uh, class brochure, and we have the whole uh, first half of that brochure has a list of all the classes and the activities associated with this event. There will be a dance party and then also a tea party, a Valentine tea party. Um, and then the final evening will be uh, the grand drawing and that's February 18th. Uh, it's a $30 per person and advanced registration. Um, that's a festive evening. Great. So welcome, everybody. Sounds like a great way to contribute to the Arts Council and to see some beautiful pieces of art. Right. 